Here you go. Here you go. Yeah, they had an interesting system in there today. They decided that when it came to the food items, they would just make all of the orders and then bring out 17 orders at once. I was like, you know, because I saw her standing next to whatever it is they make their food in and it was counting down for like 45 seconds. And I was like, hey, because it, it definitely wasn't at, like your order because it was making something else. And I'm like, hey, you can maybe use that time while you're waiting to turn around and just give people that are waiting for their food their orders. But she decided to put it all onto a tray and then carry the tray out. There was like 17 food items all at once. She was going, Mary, Kyle, Ben, John, Cassandra. No Jason though. I was in the next batch. She can never work at the Chick-fil-A. She's not efficient enough. Not efficient enough. Apparently, most efficient drive through in the world. Except for when we went. It was not efficient at all. It was about a bad day. But, all that aside, we have some business to take care of today. Five more games on the shark. The shark has definitely bitten my leg a little. It senses blood in the water. And so I need to get out of the water immediately. Um, it was funny, I was actually just talking with uh, Jesper and Benji Martinez inside the Starbucks. And we were just kind of we were talking about you know, how we were bowling on this pattern. And, I said to I said to Benji, I said if if you need nine or a split, I'm your guy. I can get you nine or a split five, six times a game. And um, he felt very similar to mine. And then yesterday night he said he made a couple of changes and he started to bowl really well. And then he said, but then I looked at the scores and I was still going backwards. The scores are so high, and I'm like, I don't know how. I don't know how these guys are doing it. I really don't know how they're able to strike that much on that pattern. There's got to be something to it. So I'm hoping today's strategy, I figured that something out. And whilst making the top 16 for Shark is probably a long shot, I mean, I would probably have to shoot 300 and something over. Like, maybe. And get lucky that everyone else didn't bowl great. Um... I think the goal here in mind is to get every single pin, get every single double we can to help our score to make the world championship. Um, you know, I still have uh, a little bit of a cushion to make the world championship, but you know, we don't want the top five to be running away with it too far. Otherwise, that'll be really difficult to catch. So. Yeah, we put up a good number today. Um, I feel like if we put up a good number today, then that will really give me a lot of confidence going into the World Championship. And more, more momentum than confidence. I always feel confident. I always have belief. But, yeah, just coming in to the World Championship on the back of some really good bowling is uh, it's always nice when you walk into the place going, all right, you got your ball doing the right thing again. Now, let's go do it. The 16 games, round robin match play for the World Championship, where anything is possible.
started okay, caught a couple early breaks, and then when I thought I knew what I was doing, that's when the Tempkin started to show their face a little bit. Um, yeah, I think I've just got to keep focused, keep making some smart moves. I think I just need to be patient. I think I'm going to leave those 10 pins, so I'm going to make them. Try and figure every pair out for itself. Make some good shots. Let the universe decide what my ball will be. down the stretch now. Three games to go. It's all about angles on this pattern. Shota Kawazoli from Japan is bowling 250 every single game. He's playing those shallower angles. And uh, Jason Flass, I think he's really attacked the lane well today. And uh, with this ball change, he's playing that shallow angle right now. I think we have a chance for a good game here if we execute well. So um, I, ex I don't expect him to have the same problems he's had previous as he's seen the picture a little bit better and obviously executed so we'll see what happens but I think we got a good game in this game.
Friday we got to 2.30. Um, getting a few of those ball hits, but the ones that I'm missing is still those half pocket. I can't slap the 10 out and I leave that 10th. That, uh, that first shot at 10th I thought was really good and it just didn't quite get through the pins. Smooth sailing, head down, focus.
I feel in my head, in my chest, in my everywhere. I um, I just don't understand how these guys can love this pattern so much. My my ball sees so much friction all the time. I'm constantly fighting it, constantly. And just when I think, oh, you know what? You've made a really good ball change. Um, this ball is going to give you a little hold. Everything's going to be fine. We go to another pair, and it's like somebody decided that they were going to just forget to oil that pair, I guess, because there was no oil there at all. And then, you know, you just try to think to yourself, all right, you don't, you're not going to have the ball reaction for 270 here. So let's just, I don't know, shoot 210 and be happy with it. And then every time your ball doesn't, doesn't hit the pocket, it's a split. You're like, oh, it constantly punches you in the head. But I can thankfully say that shark is gone and I never have to see that stupid oil pattern for another 12 months. <laughs> Silver lighting. Um, the first four games though did awesome and was able to obviously stay in the world championship cut and keep myself in contention, you know, for that TV show. I think I'm over a hundred away from the show, but you know, I think for me, there's really no number big enough that I don't ever think I can get there. I mean, last year's world championship is a perfect example. I was 400 pins away from making that cut and there were less games to chase them in. So yeah. I get the day, rest of the day off now. Gillian has told me that we have to go to Mum's Spaghetti. So, Mr. Mathers, I will be giving you some money today. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Why wouldn't it be? Spaghetti, how hard can it be to make spaghetti? So, I'm excited for that. I am. And then after that, I'm going to close all the blinds, shut my door to the hotel room, and run the hottest shower in the world, and then you won't see me come out of that room for 19 hours. There's only one bit of bad news left that I have to tell you guys. Uh, Jillian uh, has to go to this thing that she has back home called work and so for the next uh, 16 games of round robin match play for the world championship uh, we won't have any content to shoot so that sucks but she does tell me that if I make the show she'll fly back in to record show day so there's a little motivation and incentive to do well there's two show days it's a nine person step up Oh, okay. No, I didn't know that. No, you do. No, I do. Um, okay. So, I guess there's a two show days. So, i got to just... I thought there was only a top five. But, all right. Top nine. Here we go. We definitely want to bowl that first show, though. We want to bowl that second show only, and we want to be the number one seed. So, that's what we want to do. In the meantime, while we think about when Jillian's going to be arriving back... Um, you can catch all of the bowl in on Bowl TV still. So you can subscribe to that, watch the stream. Boys in the booth do, his, do a great job. So you can do that. All right. Peace. Oh, oh. Um, now that I have some time off, I will be getting those five names for the balls and um, check. The, I'm going to reply to those people, just randomly pick those people and just ask them to email me. And um, yeah, we'll get those bowling balls sent off ASAP. All right, that's it. I promise you, that's it. End it now. All right, here we are at the front of Mum's Spaghetti. That's the window where you have to order. That's the menu. I don't know. I think we should get spaghetti. That's all you can get. I 
All right, we just finished mum's spaghetti. I gotta say, it's pretty good. I mean, if you are in Detroit and you want a little pasta, very affordable, in a nice part of downtown Detroit. I mean, this looks pretty nice down here. I would highly recommend Eminem Stump Spaghetti. G'day, thanks for watching. If you loved this one, check out the rest of the videos from this playlist or any other playlist. Make sure that you like the video and please subscribe if you would love to be the first to catch any of the latest of the behind the scenes and a whole lot of other cool stuff.